Good morning, YouTubers. I hope you're all doing well. Well, today I've usually got a vlog up by now. It's actually 10.30 on March the 30th, Friday, March the 30th. I've usually got a vlog up by now. And I've not had a chance to get out because it's been bloody raining since my last vlog, except for one day. And that one day, it was like 60 degrees, sunny, really nice day. But I woke up with a huge abscess. I was like, my God, I'm in pain. So, oh, nearly forgot to stop. <laughs> I need to rang the old dentist up, see if he could fit me in, and I thought, well, he's not going to rip it out, but it was the day after this. I couldn't get out because I couldn't get my helmet on, because my face was like a hamster. Just half a hamster, though. This side was okay. Hamster, hamster. It was humongous. It was like a swallowed a flipping rugby ball, a football, whatever you call it. So anyway... That was out the window, wasted a whole flipping day, which really, really annoyed me immensely. So the day after, I went to, to the dentist and I thought, because I need to make me an appointment. I thought, well, he's not going to take it out, he's just going to check it out, you know what I mean? Because they don't usually take it out if you've got an abscess. Anyway, he looked at it, so he said, oh, yeah, I can rip that one out, it needs to come out. So I'm like, oh, okay, so we'll get this done. I thought, well, at least they'll stop it aching. It was like my flipping head was going to come off or something. So he gave me a few injections and stuff. After about five minutes, he came by. I'm talking to the nurse. I'm like, still, you know, when your mouth just isn't quite right anymore. It's like, and uh, she said, oh, I love your accent. I thought, how can you tell what I'm saying? It was like, my mouth's getting numb. So I handed her a spam card, Fatboy740. I said, there you go. If you like it that much, check that shit out. And so, which made her laugh. It made me laugh as well. Anyway, he came back. And he goes, uh, so, and he put like a sticky thing in my mouth and he goes like, see if you can feel this. I'm like, ow, yeah, I can still feel that. And so he gave me some more injections, which made my mouth go totally numb. It felt like I had somebody else's face on it. It was bizarre. I hate going to the flipping dentist anyway. So anyway, then he goes like, okay, it's numb enough. He came back. He goes, that's numb enough now. We'll give it a go. So anyhow, we're getting ready. You know, when you're like down for that initial pain of, uh, look at the bloody potholes down for that initial pain of uh, anyhow we started pulling and I thought you know what you can feel it but there's no pain it was like but it was making this ee, 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 sound in my head and I'm like this is not good and he's pulling and pulling and then I got the cuss it wasn't hurting I had this strange scenario in my head where he was actually because he was pulling so flipping hard for so long I had this scenario in my head where you... Oh, hang on. Railway lines. Damn it, I always miss these bloody things and usually take off. Now they had a couple of accidents there. I had this strange scenario in my head where this dentist was knelt on my chest, pulling as hard as he could, and the nurse had my head strapped down with a large belt to the table like, ah, ah, she's giving it this. And it made me start to laugh. And then he asked me something. I can't remember what it was. Like when you go to the hairdressers and go, have you been on holiday this year? And then you go, <laughs> and you're making absolutely no sense at all except to yourself. Absolutely bizarre. But anyway, give me that much injections. I went straight to work because I couldn't afford to have, have the flipping day off anyway. And the flipping injection thing lasted at least seven hours I couldn't talk and every time I knew I was talking to somebody I knew I was drooling like a flippant lunatic because I could feel it and I'm like then I'd, my chin the worst bit was my chin was really really itchy God, this is this is a busy scenario my chin was really really itchy and I was itching it but I didn't know I was itching it because it was flipping still itchy. So my chin, yeah, my chin was itching. And I was like this, itching it, which felt like it was here actually. And I couldn't itch it. And that lasted for like an hour, it was horrendous. So anyway, that's a little bit of a side story. That's why I haven't got a vlog out. And that's why, because it's been bloody raining. I actually thought I was going to have to get a boat to vlog this week. Anyway, 
the thing is, I'm going to do one of the crazy people, right? It's going to be a two-parter. Because it's going to be way too flipping long to do it in one. So anyway, here's the first type of scenario that you're going to come across. Uh, the younger viewers may never come across this for quite some time. Us older viewers, yes, we know about all this. Because everybody's probably done it at some time. Who's over a certain age? Okay, so you're out somewhere and somebody stops you and they go, man, I've not seen you for years. How are you doing? And you're like, and you're thinking, who the bloody hell is this person? I have no idea who they are. Now, I don't know whether it's just a British thing or not, but we actually tend to go with it. I think in America you would say, I'm sorry, I don't know you, but Britain, it's a different thing altogether. So, then you think to yourself, okay, I'll just go along with the story and get rid of them. So anyhow, they start talking to you, and you're agreeing, they're like, how's, how's your mom? Oh yeah, she's brilliant, you know, fantastic. How are you doing? Are you still working at the same job? Um, and you're thinking, hang on, what, what job was this? So you go, yeah, 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 still the same job, yeah. And then they say something like, is your brother still ballet dancing? Now it's at this point, you go, what am I to say to this? Is my brother still ballet dancing? Now, do you carry on with the pretense? Because at that point, you can't say, I'm sorry, you must have mistaken me for somebody because you've already got along with it telling them that your mother's brilliant and you're still doing the same job. So what do you do there? Would you carry on with it or would you not carry on with it? That's the question I want you to answer. Oh, and any other answers as well. It, uh, it's one of those weird situations, I don't know. Like I say, it's probably just a British thing because I've, I've come across it quite a few times and uh, I've never actually known how to get out of it. It's just uh, a weird, weird thing. So, if you tell me what you think of that. Now, I was going to do some shout outs, but I actually can't remember who I was going to shout out. I don't have time to edit it in, so I'm going to edit it into the second part of this video. Oh, and then also, Hello Moto gave me a really cool shout out last night, so I really, really like to thank him very, very much. I know I shouted him last week, but he's a really, really cool guy. And I appreciate him being my friend. And next week is going to be something a little different, which will split these two up, if you know what I mean. Next week is a little project with myself, Hello Moto, and Brit Ninja 88. So you're probably going to have to look out for that one because I'm not going to tell you anything about it. It's completely different. It's a thing we've been working on for the last uh, well, a few days. That's all I'm going to tell you. So, for those shout outs I said I was going to do this week, they're going to be the week after next. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Comment for sure. I definitely want to see those comments on your dentist, or people that you've met like that, the people that you don't know. I appreciate you very much. Oh, and for the subscribers that have subscribed to me, but I've not subscribed to them, please drop me a line because um, YouTube has not let me know who the heck you are. So I'm not being ignorant and not subscribing to you because I'm, I think I'm too posh for it or something, you know what I mean? That's the only reason I've, I've not subscribed is because YouTube hasn't told me who you are. So please drop me a line if you subscribed and I will instantly subscribe to you, no problem at all. And we're <laughs>